Assalamu alaikum and you're welcome watching another edition of At Home with George. Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of At Home with George. Uh, today we are talking about communication. How have the communication changed in the lockdown? Obviously it has changed in the way that we communicate via uh, Zoom or WhatsApp video or, or even Facebook video. But in terms of what you're saying, what you're talking to, who you're talking to, has that changed? So I'd like to know up who you're changing, who you're communicating with. Has it changed? And what, you, how you're communicating? What have you done? So, for example, um, so I'm now communicating far more with my family uh, back in the UK than I was ever before, um, and uh, we're doing more like quizzes on Zoom, uh, which is quite fun. Um, and it's a wonderful way of communicating and, and I'm staying in touch with them a lot more than I used to uh, pre-quarantine or lockdown. So let me know how you are uh, communicating with your friends and family and how has it changed. So I'd love to know your comments and your thoughts. And if you would like to be a part of the show, I will obviously please be a part of the show. You can be a part and I will just share the... Um, uh, link right now. Assalamualaikum, Shazi. How are you? How are you? Um, in fact, let me put this on the banner so that everyone can join. Um, let me create a banner. Here we go. There you go. So, uh, today we're talking about communication. How's it changed? Um, let me know how your communication with your friends and your family or your work colleagues has changed. And... Um, and what are you talking about when you get on that Zoom call, when you get on that um, WhatsApp group? Are you just talking about Corona? Or are you doing different things? I mean, are you doing activities across uh, long distance? So for example, as I said, my family are doing um, quiz nights every week now. Um, and we are doing regular quizzes. Uh, and it's brought us a lot closer together. Um, and so I would love to know what you guys are doing. Let me know. Um, I'm from Ireland, um, and we are still in lockdown. Yeah, so are we, Mohammed Ayu. We're still in lockdown. Uh, please say my name, Sadia Siddiqui Motiwala. Are you a Motiwala? No, I can't believe that. How are you? I'm good, Tariq. How are you? Um, Salam, George. Good morning, Good morning, was there. So I'm talking about communication. How are you guys change, communicating? Has it changed? What are you doing? Let me know. And if you want to join the conversation, please click on the link below on a Chrome or Firefox browser, and you can join me and we can have a chat. Let me know a B a B a B. Okay. So uh, one thing that has changed for me is obviously I'm communicating with my family long distance, but I'm communicating more with them. Before I talked to them, I talked to my parents like once a week or I talked to my uh, siblings once a month, um, birthdays, but now we're regularly being into contact. So what this has done is it has uh, allowed me to stay in touch with the people I want. I've also reached out to people that I have lost touch with um, and have started to connect with them again. So how has it changed for you? Let me know. How has your uh, ability to communicate uh, changed? And are you communicating with different people that you wouldn't normally? Uh, let me know a B, a B, a B in the comment section and I will share it with you. Me and my family love your videos, Sadia Siddiqui Motiwala. Thank you, Sadia Siddiqui Motiwala. I feel I have to say your name in full every time I say it. Sadia Siddiqui Motiwala. Uh, thank you for enjoying my videos um, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Afia, I love your video in Urdu. Stay safe and blessed. Thank you, Afia. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know. We're just talking today about communication. How has communication changed with you? Are you doing things like cooking together online, but with people abroad or people in other cities? Are you doing exercises together? Um, as I said, my family and I are doing quiz nights 
uh, every week now and we're doing more than we did ever before so let me know what you oh Mohammed Ayub says my three-year-old son watching you as well as Salikum uh, hello hello if you would like to chat with me please uh, click on the link uh, on this link or copy this link I will share it again on this and I will chat with you guys you have to use a Chrome or Firefox browser okay I will and then get you on board yeah quiz nights are really fun and, and you can do it. It's a really good, good way of you know having a fun evening. I've also known people that have had like dinner together, but obviously a, over the over Zoom and uh, WhatsApp. Um, we're down in Australia. My kids speak Urdu just like you. I show them your videos. Oh, I hope their Urdu is better than mine. Remove the chroma key. It looks terrible. Yeah, it does look terrible. But um, uh, okay, I'll get rid of it. There you go. How's that? Is that better? Um, okay, I've given more time to dogs than ever before. Okay, so you're you haven't reached out to people. You're more focusing on being with your dogs. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, let me know what. Is, what are people doing? What are people saying? Or what would you like to talk to me about? Please write in uh, a B a B a B, and or come in and chat with me. And I'd love to have a chat with you guys and talk to you about what you are up to in lockdown. Uh, as I said, my communication has changed. I've reached out to old friends uh, that I've sort of not been in touch with for years, but I suddenly thought. You know, I want to reach out to these people. I want to engage with these people, these people that I've lost touch with. And this has been the perfect time. So I'm now focusing on the people that are really important to me, old friends, and the people that I see that I don't want to see, but I have to go out and see, I, um, I'm no longer seeing. Uh, so it's really allowed me to focus on what's really important in terms of relationships. So how is your relationships? How have your relationships changed? How's your communication changed? Are you doing different things? Let me know. Uh, where is Shanira today? Shanira is not on every day, Mary Jan uh, Tahir. Uh, Shanira just came as a guest yesterday. So uh, if you want to come and chat with me, please click on the link and come and chat. CJ, I don't have anything to say. I'm sure you do have something to say. Um, I'm sure you do. How do you try to make your day? My name is Asya uh, Arsh, Arsha, and I'm using my mum's account. How do you try to make your day? I no, don't understand the question. How do you? What, what, what do I do during the day? Well, I, I'm looking after the kids. I do lots of housework. I cook. I clean. Uh, so that pretty much occupies my day. I do this for an hour a day. Um, oh, that's a great... So, Asiatic, you organize your wardrobe, but do you do that with others online? So, are you organizing your wardrobe with somebody else over the over Zoom or over WhatsApp, helping you organize your wardrobe, or are you just doing that on your own? Uh, let me know, uh, because today we're talking about how has communication changed in your life since coronavirus? Are you communicating differently in terms of the people that you're communicating with? Are you reaching out to old friends and to new people? Um, or um, are you communicating with the same people, but are you doing it in a different manner? So for example, I'm communicating more frequently and regularly with my family and we're doing quiz nights, which is something we've never done before. Um, uh, and so that's different. Hello from Wellington, how are you? We are locked down one more for level four you must visit new zealand heaven on earth lots of love and prayers tyra i would love to new visit new zealand one of my best friends lives in new zealand he lives in wellington um and it's bohot kubsurat the only thing that's stopping me is all the orcs because i've seen lord of the rings there are lots of them salam salam muhammad um okay what do you do in pakistan for a living or what job you do. I work in the media. That is my job. I, that's what I do, Ali Fahad. What do you do? Let me know. Uh, are you still in Pakistan? Yes, may Pakistan may refahum. I've cleaned all the clutter in my phone. Useless data and all. Oh, that's that's a good exercise to do. Yeah, 
because it just clogs up so much of your your memory. Uh, how do you? Um, so Aways is saying uh, communications changed a lot. I'm using Zoom a lot. Acha, so but in terms of what you're doing on Zoom, what are you saying? Um, let me know how you communicate it. Right, we have a caller coming in. Hi, Ali. Fahan. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very good. How are you? I'm very good. Where are you? I'm in Dubai. I'm in Dubai. I'm in Karachi. And now you're doing what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, फिलहाल तो छुट्टियां गुजार रहा हूँ। um, I'm a freelancer uh, by profession, so freelance what? Um, you know, a designer, a graphic designer. Yeah, designer, अच्छा। So how are you communicating differently, Abi? Communicating? Ha, huh, like, like, like. Are you communicate? Obviously, you're communicating more online through Zoom and WhatsApp. Yes. But yes. what you're saying, what you're doing, apka dost ke saad, apka family ke saad, ye different hai, yeah. ye same hai. Ah, nahi, main WhatsApp pe unke saad communicate karta hu aur yeah. Yeah. So you commun, but are you communicating differently? Are you communicating? Are you doing like different things online that you wouldn't do if you met them in person? Um, no, not differently. Just uh, normally, just okay. the way I used what to do you, with that. What are you talking about then? What are you guys talking about? Well, we mostly nowadays we mostly talk about the situation in Pakistan and also um, because I belong to Sialkot, so what's going on in Sialkot? Are people trying to cooperate with the government? Um, how people are uh, taking care of themselves and their neighborhood, and uh, how they are, um, you know, uh, following the instructions, uh, you know, provided by the government and doctors uh, to avoid any, uh, you know. Difficult situation because of the Corona virus, you know that. Mm. So these days we normally talk about all these things. <laughs> There is no more, no other topic nowadays. Is it too much? Too much talk on Corona? Yeah, I mean everyone. Everyone talks about Corona nowadays. Everyone would like to know that because I'm in Dubai, so I would like to know what's going on in Pakistan, um, in different cities of Pakistan, and what's the uh, scenario in Pakistan so that, that that's why <laughs> that's what we do these days yeah and we hope okay. for good Faraz has said the program based on food and travel in Pakistan I'm not quite sure what he says it means by that Sadia hi from Holland hi Sadia Shazia Khan Shah we're trying to figure out how to sort out a family game of cards on Zoom with family in New Zealand Shazia that's a fantastic idea I'm sure you can do that um so, Shazi, one thing that we're doing is uh, we're, we play a quiz uh, game with all my family. And I have family in um, the UK. And once a week, we all meet up for a quiz. And what we do is we uh, each come up with nine questions. And then each uh, round, we, one of us gives out the questions and the rest of us uh, provide the answers. And it's a lot of fun. Um, in some way, we're spending more time talking to family and friends. Exactly. That's my point. We're communicating more now than mm -hmm. we've ever done before. And also, we're reaching out to the people that matter more to us. Um, so I've picked up the phone and reached out to old friends who are very dear to me. But because of Mira Zindagi Bob Nasruf here, I haven't reached out to uh, for a long time. But actually, you know, when... When it comes to the crunch, these are the people that mean a lot to me and are the closest. And those are the people I've reached out to. And the sort of day-to-day -day friends that you sort of bump into and see, uh, I haven't talked to at all. So that, that shows you the importance of reaching out to old friends. Um, do you play games and quizzes with the family when you meet physically? Yes, we do. But but what we, ha we don't do is this normally. We don't play a quiz game normally uh, because we are of the assumption that oh 
uh, my sister will be busy or one of them will be out of work or somebody's there, there and everywhere. So because we know that everyone is at home, it forces us to be, uh, uh, the, the, we, we know that everyone's in the same room, literally, because everyone is at home. And so we can have this online quiz. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks, Shadia, uh, for that. Uh, waiting for, uh, Shazia, if you want to come and join us, by the way, please uh, join, come online. Just uh, click on this link onto, Shaz or onto on your Chrome or Firefox, and we can have a chat with you, Shazia. Please, I'd love to have a chat. Um, waiting uh, for your new videos uh, and your, I love your Urdu, Sadia. Uh, so, Ali, what is your first language? Oh, mother tongue. Yeah, uh, I'm Punjabi. So Punjabi. my mother tongue is Punjabi. Yes. Could you teach me Taurus of Punjabi? Anji, why not? You see, keep pushing a chound there in Punjabi. What is Punjabi? What is Punjabi? Because uh, Punjabi is a lot of uh, language, hai, bahut, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good language, so that's why I want to learn it. So, <laughs> tell me something yes. in Punjabi. Um, Punjab is a Pakistan, a great place, 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 a Oh. So what have you just said to me? You belong to Selkorn. I got that bit, but what else? <laughs> yeah, I said that Punjab is the uh, biggest uh, province in Pakistan, according to the population, uh, you mm -hmm. know, and also that it's a uh, land of five rivers, and I belong to Selkorn. That's it. Acha, acha. So can you teach me a sentence that would be, that I can get by if I'm in the Punjab? Like, you know, okay. what, 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 what would be the sentence that I could use in Punjabi? Well, if you would like to ask them that, how are you? So I think you would know already probably that ki hale. Well, um, yeah, not kya hale, but it's ki hale in, in Punjabi. Yes. Ki hale. Yes. Okay. Matika. Vadia. <laughs> Uh, is there any like Punjabi saying that's like very true to Punjab? Um, Shazia, if you're, in the, if you're in your PJs, come on board. Come. Don't be lazy. Come on. Ajao. Sorry, I'm talking to Shazia. She's on. Yeah, it's okay. Ah, yeah. So tell me your, your uh, Punjabi phrase that I should learn. Well, um, you should ask me anything particularly, so I could anything specifically if you would like to ask. Okay, so how do I st tell me a Punjabi joke? Um, clean Punjabi, clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so. Well, there are many. Um... Okay, no worries, no worries, don't worry, don't worry. I'm putting you on the spot. I'll let you think about it. Let's go back to the questions. Um, okay, uh, one of my school classmates all contact also contacted me after so many years, and I'm doing the same. Yeah, that's the thing. We are reaching out to uh, old people. Uh, Shazi is saying the lockdown makes it easier to have regularity. Yes, that's true. And that's why we know that we're going to be able to reach all our family at the same time and make sure that they're all at home and that we can communicate in such a way. Uh, Tyra Tufel, we listen to news updates from Prime Minister every day and follow the rules properly here in New Zealand. And then at night, we all are connected on Zoom and friends to play quiz, and it's so refreshing. Oh, so you're also doing quizzes. That's great, Tyra. Um, and uh, so you're watch, listening to news updates from Jacinda. She's a fantastic prime minister by all accounts. Um, anyway, great. 
So anyway, up today we are talking about communication. How has your communication changed in the time of Corona? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, are you doing things differently online, on Zoom, on uh, WhatsApp Messenger? Um, and are you communicating in a different way? Are you reaching out to new people? Uh, have you? Um, are you no longer communicating with? the people you normally communicate with let me know a b a b a b we are taking comments right now uh so ali um yes are you being good in dubai are you getting out at all or are you stuck at home uh no not stuck at home uh, completely i can uh, the area where i'm staying here uh, I can move, I can just, you know, go to get groceries and all that. So it's, there is no uh, prohibition uh, mm -hmm. to go out here. So it's quite easy to go. But I think if I would go to some other areas, uh, I think there will be some, uh, I, I would need some permit, permission from the government to move there. But so far here where I'm living, it's uh, it's safe. Yeah. And are you moving? So, your friends are, and family are in Pakistan, yeah? Yes, in Pakistan. You must be missing them. Of course. Of course. When, you know, especially in this situation, yeah. you always. How long have you been in Dubai? Um, more than a month. It, oh, so you're new. You've only been to in yeah, Dubai. I, yeah, I, I just came here as a visitor. So my oh. flight back to Pakistan was on 9th of April, but due to this situation, flight ban, I'm here. I'm, I'm just stuck here. So, Where are you living? Huh? Where are you staying? I'm in Dubai, Discovery Gardens. This are, area. You, are, you, are you staying with a friend or? No, no, I'm staying alone here. Okay, okay. So you're staying for longer than you anticipated? Yeah. Okay. Well, lovely chatting to you, Ali. Uh, I wish you all the best. Okay. Take care. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Right. Uh, so we're talking about uh, communication. Classes are much different online. Mine are through Google Classroom. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm sure they've changed. Uh, yes, she's super great prime minister. We love her. She is an inspiration to all the world leaders. Great. Okay. So... Um, I am talking about communication, but the, the communication has dried up at your end. Uh, so I might just call it a day early today uh, and uh, we can have another try tomorrow with a new show. Uh, but anyway, lovely speaking to you guys. Um, how do I come online? Okay, Shazia, this is it. Okay, you need to click on this link that I'm just telling you. Wait, let me just write to you. Okay, hold on. Okay. Click on this link. I'm WhatsApping it to you, and uh, and then you have to use a Chrome or a Firefox browser, and then we can communicate. And Shazia is a doctor, so if Shazia does come online, we can ask her a lot of medical questions uh, related to Corona as well. Good morning, Sadaf. Good morning. What are you doing today, Sadaf? And how are you communicating differently? Uh, please let me know. And uh, I would love to know what you're doing uh, in a way that is different. Uh, obviously, we're communicating online much more. But in terms of what you're saying or what you're communicating, is it very different? And who you're communicating with? Let me know. Um, nice job. Thanks, Rana. Uh, where are you calling from or where are you coming from? Let me know. I would love to know your story. Muhammad Hayyub, we are keeping social distance, but being a neighbor of Irish family, we're trying to look after them every day. But this pandemic has been re reordering society and bringing a huge influence on human behavior. Oh, so that's so you're looking after your Irish neighbors. That's good. Um, and we're all, yes, it is reordering society and bringing a huge influence on human human behavior. It'd be interesting to know if it changes how we interact in future. Are we going to be forever in masks and gloves from now on? Let's find out from Shazia. Hi, Shazia. Good morning. Salikum. Wa alaikum salam. 
Uh, how are you? How my communication has changed. There's no way I'd ever meet an international celebrity in my pajamas. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're just heads. As long as we remain above the head, we will be fine. But I'm, oh God, I'm looking particularly dishevelled. Hold on. You are, you are looking anyway. dishevelled. Anyway, uh, if anyone has any questions for Shazia, please let us know because Dr. Shazia is also a very eminent uh, doctor, and she is the director, of, a medical director of the British uh, Clinic um, here in Karachi. So let me know if you have any medical related questions for her. Uh, but Shazia, how have you changed? How's communication changed for you? I think, um, as we said uh, on the text, you know, the whole, the way that we're communicating with family, the regularity of it, because we know that everyone's at home. Mm. Um, so, you know, you can book in times. I've got friends back home in London and they're all mothers, uh, same as me, running around and working as well. So we just don't get a chance to all be together at the same time. It takes a whole load of planning usually. But mm. now with regularity, we meet every Sunday for a Zoom meeting, um, you know, and people are sort of busy in their kitchens or whatever, but we can fit it in around our actual life and just um, have the little snapshot into, it seems a lot more intimate in many ways, mm. but in other ways, the technology isn't quite there yet to make it as organic as it would be when you when you meet physically, obviously. It's um, not the same as, as you were yeah. moving physically. And, and there is something about the, being able to be in the same room as people and, and imbue the energy that they provide. Yes, and eat the same food and, you know, companions, it, it, literally the word means someone you break bread with, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, you miss that sort of eating, drinking, you know, chatting yeah. together that whole environment you miss it but you know in a way you become more part of someone's life and like you say all the people that really matter um that you may not have spoken to for a long time you're somehow able to get together with them as well which is lovely but it but it, i think it's an unconscious need to reach out in a time of crisis to those old friends those friends that you Oh, very dear to you um, that you perhaps haven't been in touch with because you always think, well, they're always there. I don't need to. I don't need to nurture that relationship because I I know it's a strong relationship. But suddenly, when you are faced with a crisis, you kind of think, well, I don't know how long. Potentially, I might get taken away by this coronavirus. I want to reach out to those that I'm really close to, and hence I've decided to reach out to my old friends. Yes, same here, same here, and it's uh, and um, you know it's interesting because communication has changed so much in medicine. Um, when I was at medical school, you know, we and throughout my training, we've been told how important face-to-face -face communication is, how important the examination is, and obviously there's no substitute for that. But we are still managing to consult with people online and through telemedicine now, and so many consultations have been taken online. Um, including myself and so the nature of medicine has changed a little bit as well um which is so you're doing consultations online so you can but you can examine me so for example um if i had an earache you wouldn't be able to examine me so that's a random it. example <laughs> as a random example you'd have to you'd have to because i had an earache recently as you know um you would have to check, check it wouldn't you physically yes so, you know, because this is a time of crisis, as, as we talked about, initially, we can try as much as possible to keep away from the physical examination. And just if someone's a good historian and gives a good history the way you did, then it's easy to figure out that, yeah, 90% of the diagnosis you get from the history rather than the examination anyway. So we tried. And then when absolutely necessary, obviously, you can visit and physically examine the patient or ask them to come over to yours but i think most consultations actually you can do um and in pakistan it's uh, fairly easy because you can type out the medicine that's needed in the farm so you can the patient can go yeah. to the pharmacy and get it they don't need an official prescription it's a bit more tricky yeah. in uh, in england yeah and so 
I, I think it's satisfying, though, uh, as a doctor to be doing it over online rather than face to face. It's not the same, is it? No, it's not the same. You know, there's lots of uh, things and social cues and things that you miss from a patient uh, that you can uh, pick up when you see them physically, for sure. Um, mm. But it's better than nothing. And I think in this uh, context, if you can <clears throat> use online consultations to allow people to self-medicate at home, uh, stay at home and stay out of hospital where they may go in and pick something up, um, then that's a great service and I think that's the least we can do really as doctors is just try and keep people out of hospital if possible and also the ones who might have COVID um, we can advise them as much as possible to stay at home and also tell them when it's time to go in if they need to. What is the latest understanding on COVID-19? Do we have any new news about it? Because obviously you've just done this um, course from the London School of uh, Tropical Medicine um, and sorry, infectious disease and tropical medicine. Um, is there any new updates on it that we need to know about? Mm, uh, not so much at the moment. They're still doing these trials on uh, hydroxychloroquine and the NHS are now asking for um, plasma from people who've had COVID. I don't know if you heard of that. No. Uh, for trials. So they're going to try to use uh, the some. So people who've had COVID and recovered, they're presumably going to have antibodies in their blood. And so what they're asking is for people to donate their plasma when they've tested positive and have recovered. And they're going to try and use that in trials as well to see if they can confer some kind of immunity onto people who are suffering. Um, so let's see. But I don't think that's got as much potential, really, as obviously trying to find a vaccine, uh, yeah. which will take about 80 days. Okay, so we have a question from Khan Baba. Hi, George, I have a question from Dr. Shazia. How long does this coronavirus pandemic terrorize us? And does any country introduce the virus? Well, no vaccine that so far I'm aware has been introduced. And in terms of how long this terrorizes, us, we don't know. We don't know. Um, I don't know if you saw those um, things online about how the, the thing, the pandemic it's compared to most often is Spanish flu, which was about 100 years ago. And what happened was um, they had a first wave of Spanish flu in which people were quarantined and probably not as effectively as now, but there were a lot of, um, a lot less people in the world at that point. There's only 1.8 billion people or whatever. Now we've got seven. Um, and they quarantined people, and then at the end of the war, uh, in at the end of the First World War, everybody was everyone came out. Quarantine, and yeah. so they came out to celebrate and everything, and then they had a second peak. And I think you know that's what we're afraid of is that you know we'll flatten the curve and things will start to go back to normal, and then everyone will come out, and then we'll have a second peak. And the second peak in the Spanish flu was much worse than the first peak. Um, and actually, the Spanish flu so killed more people than the first think. World War. The Spanish flu killed yeah, more people than the First World War, yeah. Yes, the first and second, I think, put together. So it's really scary. And uh, basically, we've got to watch Wuhan very carefully because they're easing restrictions, presuming that they're going to be transparent about the number of cases that they have. Um, we have to watch them very carefully, Wuhan, Italy, Spain, as they start to uh, ease their restrictions. We need to see what happens there and learn from it. But do you, do you think that we, the way we interact will have forever changed now? Because I, I remember, so. I, 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 what I mean by this is that, um, I used to sort of slightly snigger at people from Southeast Asia when I saw them in airports because I saw them with the masks and I just thought, oh my God, they're so sort of OCD and completely yeah. sort of uh, um, over the top. Because, but then I obviously didn't experience uh, bird flu in the way that they had. Um, or, or was it swine flu? I can't remember whether it was swine flu or bird flu that they had. 
But they clearly were impacted quite a lot by that when it came about. And they changed their behavior patterns and started wearing all these masks. And, um, and I wonder whether we will, now that uh, coronavirus has, has changed the world. Hello? Shazia, can you hear me? I think, uh, I think inevitably it's going to lead to a bit of fear. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. God, I can hear you. Yeah. Again. No, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, I was going to say, I think inevitably, especially in our generation, generation of 12 hours, maybe people who are in their 20s onwards. However, children are just going to go back because human beings are inherently social people. You know, we, we need to be around people. We need to see each other's faces. You know, we get so much from that. And I think it's very hard to imagine a society where people are always uh, covered up and you can't, you can't communicate. I don't think that's going to happen. I think, though, for in day-to-day -day life, lots of things are going to change. And I think um, this is probably going to galvanize developments in uh, technology to make a lot of working from home easier. Um, you know, on a like on a personal level, for example, I live um, in a different part of town to most of my friends and where all the activities are happening here in Karachi, um, the, the posh side of town. And mm. uh, basically, you know, I spend two hours a day going back and forth from defence for the children's activities. And I probably don't need to do that now. Um, mm. and now that my world has opened up, the day has opened up for me in terms of timings and if I can convince a few of the tutors to do things online that will really change my life um, yeah. in terms of how much time we spend in the car etc so that would actually yeah. be a real positive so small changes like that plus on top of that this could be environment um, you know we can see blue skies here in Karachi rather than yellow small changes for the better um i hope that we really value the time that we do have together and there's no taking each other for granted as you said yeah and i i, I yeah absolutely and i, I yeah, i'm talking about the environmental changes i've i've been hearing birds from it the morning that i had never heard before because it was overpowered by you know passing rickshaws or um, motorbikes. So it's been really nice to en and enjoy that. Um, and I think it is about this great pause is forcing us to reconsider what's important and what is priority and what is ne necessity, uh, absolute necessity and what is frivolous. Um, you know, a lot of what we did before was just frivolous activity that would keep ourselves busy but with no purpose um, and I think now we are unable to see that if we prioritize more we can open up our day and focus on what's really important. Hello Shazia. Shazia. Hello Shazia. Oh no, Shazia. Nope, I think we lost her. Okay, so what are we doing? Um, okay, so we've got lots of people uh, coming. Um, uh, Georgia. Okay, Mister. Abu Jahal Franco, uh, I think you should get a different profession. Anyway, uh, thank you for guys for talking. Um, and uh, that's it for the time being. I don't know what's happened to Shazia, but uh, it's been great just chatting to you. Sorry, it's been a fairly sort of chaotic um, 
uh, day today. Um, hasn't been, oh, we've got Shazia back again. Let's see if we connect. Hi, Shazia. Hello. Did you hear anything I said? Hello. Again. Um, I got to, I, I spoke a lot and then you were answering and it cut off. Oh, okay. So I was just saying that the point regarding the environment, yes, we've, uh, I'm really appreciating the, the, the newfound uh, bird song that wakes me up every morning rather than the rickshaws and the um, motorbikes. And, um, and I do think that it's forcing us, the great pause, to prioritize what is necessary, uh, absolutely necessary. What's a necessity and what is it? So, um, yeah. I think it would be really great if we had a week every year where we recreate the great pause. Yes. In, in commemoration. Just to yeah. reset. And I, I think, you know, I've been thinking about uh, Ramadan coming up and how, you know, what the actual purpose of it is. And actually, I'm really looking forward to it this year because I think we're not going to have all the unnecessary socialising. It's become a... And actually, the, the, that's the thing is that I think you've gone again. Are you, are you there? Shazia? A month where, you know, we just going oh dear. Shazia, Shazia. I think we've lost you, Shazia. But that's. Um, I think what Shazi was saying, if I'm not mistaken, is yeah, I think it's a great opportunity with Ramzan uh, coming up uh, is to really remember what that period was essentially for. It was essentially what we're doing now, which is to... Parties and breaking your family together. But actually... Sorry, Shazi. Would... Hello? I am. Are you back? Shazia? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry there, Shazia. I've lost you. Okay, so let's see if we can. Hello. Shazia? Are you back? Hello? Okay, guys. Sorry about this. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, thank you all for joining us today, uh, and I'll see you again tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Take care, and good afternoon. Bye-bye.